Hey guys, welcome back. So, yee, I got happy mail today. I'm so excited. Um, now this happy mail I actually paid for. My my stuff, no no sponsorships or anything, but I got a couple of new molds from Into Resin. Uh, the one that I'm going to be making today is a hippopotamus. And then this one over here is a bird, but we're going to make that later. So, I will put links in the description to both molds uh, with a 20% discount. 20% discount uh, to into resin. Um, so, yeah. Now, these are not crystal cut molds, if you know what I mean. Most people you see with into resin molds, they have those very detailed crystal cuts and everything. These are not. These are just slick. You know, they're just plain molds. Um, and I'm going to be adding clear resin. Now, gee, Rev, that's awfully boring. No, it's not. It's a very good indicator on you know, the quality of the mold, and also, sometimes you just want something clear and pretty. And, uh, you know, not all, you know, quote-unquote crystal is faceted. Um, some of the most beautiful crystal pieces I've ever seen, boy, my Texas really came out in that one, uh, some of the most beautiful uh, crystal pieces that I've ever seen were very just smooth. Um, so anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm going to go ahead and pour here. I have two ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one that I have mixed very slowly and let sit for a little while just to make sure that, you know, bubbles and whatnot. I didn't run it through my uh, airless just simply because I didn't feel like dragging it out. So, <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and pour in our little hippo friend. And you can see down in there that he's got ears. Uh, so I want to make sure that we get the ears really uh, filled up well. So I'm just going to go and just start pouring slowly. Just enough to get resin in his little ears. And then take my silicone tool. Because again handmade mold. This is, these both are handmade molds from into resin. Uh, so I want to be real careful with putting anything in there. No wood or you know, metal or pointy things or anything like that. So that's why I'm very carefully using a silicone tool. My high tech mess mitigation device over here. Now that I've gone into those ears, try to knock out any potential air bubbles. I'm just going to very gently pour. way up. And I actually guessed on how much resin this mold was going to take. And I think I guessed pretty, pretty well. You know, uh, a lot of us crafters have been, you know, doing this for a minute. And even if you're not, sometimes you can just gauge just by looking at something. Once, once you get used to, um, 
uh, how molds look and things, a lot of times you can gauge it just by looking at it and saying, okay, well, that looks like about X number of ounces. Um, you know, of course, you can always measure molds with water or you know, things like that. But if you don't want to measure it with water and things like that, then, you know, eventually you become... You, sorry, I hit the camera. You get a keen eye with enough practice. Sorry about hand cam. Just going around the edges just to try to encourage any little micro bubbles that might be in there to come on out. And again, since this is a handmade mold, I am not going to be spraying with alcohol. I am not going to be using a torch. I am not going to be using heat. This is a brand new mold, and I do not want to jack it up. Um, into resin molds are exceptional quality, especially the handmade ones. So protect your investment. Take care of your molds. I'm going to go ahead and let that do its thing. And uh, I'll go ahead and give them a little tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. All right. So we'll go ahead and let this little guy do his thing. And I will see you for the demold. See you soon. <sighs> All right. It's time to demold our hippo. So let's get him out. How sweet is he? Oh, we do have a few little micro bubbles on it for me because I didn't put it through the uh, through the airless. But even still, isn't he adorable? Just little toes. Oh, and he's got a little face. He's got little eyes and nose and little mouth. Oh, he's so precious. Oh, I love him. He would look really good in Haldy Brown. <laughs> that is very, very cute. Oh, so tell me what you guys think. Our little hippo buddy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I just love him to pieces. He's so adorable. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I look forward to hearing from you. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care. Cheers.